this video guys, we are gonna try and hook up the drag coil to the Prado and see if it works. I don't know if it will because it's probably gonna be a little bit noisy uh, being close to the car, we'll have to see. Uh, now yesterday we actually set up the drag coil for the salt flat, uh, Marcus walked it around everywhere, even walked up and down the hills. Uh, we've had a couple of problems with the drag coil. Uh, now, if you go back, uh, watch a video in the description, we'll show you how we built the drag coil. We never built one before. Uh, I'm gonna share some of the problems that we had, some of the things that we've learned, and how we're gonna fix them. So First problem we had, what we wanted to have was a plastic base. So we put a Perspex base underneath here, so if any rocks or whatever wouldn't get caught and the coil wouldn't go all weird, which it's doing at the moment. Now what happened was a bit of water got underneath and warped the whole thing. So we had to take that out and then of course we've had to put it just onto this matting. Now if you want to see a video of how we created it, make sure you check out the description below. But the other issue that we've had with it is that because it doesn't have the base anymore, when you're driving along and you hit a big rock, the whole thing falls apart. Um, even though it's got cable ties holding it all together, if it hits a big rock here at the front, this comes undone. And then, of course, you hit a rock, the whole thing gets wonky and it doesn't work. Now, obviously you could glue this together with some PVC glue. Uh, we don't have any of that, but I do have some electrical tape. So I'm gonna tape up all these uh, corners. Hopefully that will hold it. Uh, but really what you do need to have, if you're gonna put Perspex here, is some like UV rated Perspex. So what detector we use, we actually use the 3500 uh, detector with this and we've just been calibrating it to the salt flat. So you can see over here, um, what we did yesterday is we actually ran, uh, put gold at different depths and then calibrated the GP3500 over all of this and tuned it right in so we would hear, I think it was like a half to three quarter gram nugget at like, it was about two, three hundred mil. Okay, so it was kind of cool. And then we stuck some bigger ones in there, put like half an ounce or an ounce nuggets at the bottom and, uh, and cowled that up. Again, if you want to see how to cowl it up, I'll leave a link to the description below. So what we're going to do now though, is with all that newfound information, is we're actually going to try and hook up uh, this drag coil to the Prado because you can only drag it for about an hour manually. Okay, you can drag it manually, but man, you're going to get tired. Okay, even though it's super light, like the first thing I did when I first built this, I was like, oh, I could drag that all day. And Marcus, who's a bigger guy than me, like physically stronger and bigger, he's like, oh man, I can drag that all day. Hour later, came back, had to lie in the shade for half an hour. So what we want to do is usually you would have like an ATV, like a four wheeler or something, and you probably have a longer lead. So we don't have a longer lead, we just have the one that came with a coil. So you can get a lot of diff distance between you and the coil. So you may, normally you might be like, you know, 10, 15 meters or something like that. We're, we're gonna be lucky to be like three or four. So I don't know if it's gonna pick up the noise from the actual car. Um, and we're gonna see if we can't figure out somehow to hook up the detector to the tow ball and then maybe have a cable or something for a speaker in the car. Let's, let's rig it up, see how it goes. We'll let you know. All right, so we started to put this all back together. Uh, we taped all the joins, as you can see here. Uh, what we're actually gonna do now is hook this up to the car with the 3500 and uh, see if it works and if it makes a too much noise. So that's really the next step. All right, so this is the, the 3500, as you can see here. We're gonna hook this to the back of the car somehow. I haven't really thought this through, but I'm thinking, I don't know, sticking it on there, must be this bracket down, cable tying it on, something along those lines, lots of tape. And that should give us a bit of distance with the cable as well, that's kind of the thinking. Um, I don't know if it'll pick up the car or not. But um, yeah, we'll chuck that on, see how that goes. Also, and then what we'll do is we'll put this Bluetooth speaker or massive sort of like speaker in the car so we can hear it as we drive along. Now it has started raining, like I said, so it's probably gonna affect you know, the whole setup, 
Um, you can actually see here, if I move the drag coil off, uh, this is when we were setting up today. The ground looked like that. Anyway, let's put it all together and check it out. Now, of course, it started to rain. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this bag over the top of this detector. Try and keep it nice and dry. And this cable is a bit sensitive. So I might just put a couple of cable ties around that. Get a rain coverage. I mean, ideally, you don't want to be doing this in the rain, but we're literally here for another couple of hours before we have to head back. So I just want to give this a test run, see if it'll even work. So now what we're going to do is just hook the speaker up. Um, so we'll need uh, just a male to male, female to male, so it'll reach into the car. Uh, and you also need one of these adapters, okay, because the, the port out of the, the 3.5 um, is one of these, okay, so it's the big one. So you'll need one of those to one of those. And then I just plug my headphones into that normally, um, but we're just going to use these two extension things to drive it into the car. So I don't know if we shut the door, that'll damage the cable or not. I have got a Bluetooth adapter, but it's a bit of mucking around. I don't really want to do that at this point. So let's plug this in and see how that works. So hopefully this will make some noise. Marcus was walking around with this yesterday, similar sort of setup when he was walking. So I'm hoping this is going to work just as well. A driving, very loud, that's what we want. Moment of truth. Here we go. We'll pack all this up, and uh, I've, now we've just got to line these cables up, the ropes up. Doesn't sound like it's picking up the car. I thought it might just be like, wah! Picking up the car, but it's not, which, so that's good news. If it's not picking up the car, that means we probably should be able to just drive around with this and ping some nuggets and uh, see how we go. I don't know how we'll go in the wet though. Basically just turn this whole salt lake into a mud lake, so that's gonna suck. But let's see how we go. I'll just make this V smaller. That makes more sense than having two big, massive, long ones. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna tape this cable up so it doesn't drag on the ground. You can see the tape from before when we were dragging it by hand. <laughs> All right, so let's go for a little drive, Marcus. Just make sure that this actually toes. Go. Yeah. That's so good. It's actually lifting at the back there. Sick one. Oh man, that's so much better. I'm so glad we can tow it behind with the car. That is going to be a massive game changer.